Say, I am, I am the salt of the earth. I am the light of the world. Through me, the earth will be preserved. Through me, the earth will see. Shout amen. amen. We are the salt of the earth. And we are the light of the world. I didn't say that. Oh, let's read it. Let's read it. Thank you. Whoever is there, may God answer your prayers. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can we just read together? You are the salt of the earth. And if the salt has lost its silver, where we shall it be salted? It is. Yeah, huh? Uh-huh. Wait, 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 wait. Now, if you are a Christian not living the right the life, look at how they treat you. Is it all Christian that they treat with respect? Yeah? If, you are the, if you are a Christian and you are the greatest thief in the office, they will be trodden on you will be trodden on them. They will start laughing at you. Oh. They say you call yourself a Christian. You are the greatest thief here. When you say, shall we pray, say you. <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Let's forget about prayer issue. Let's forget about prayer issue. If you are a Christian, I'm a Pope. <laughs> Have you heard that before? Yes. Oh, I've heard that before. If you call yourself a Christian, then I am Pope John Paul or Pope, Pope Francis. You understand? <laughs> you understand? You know why they say that? They say that because your life does not reflect who you say you are. He says, come, men, we cast you out. You said, that means you, you can be sacked. With the whole authority you have, with the whole power you have, you can be sacked. You can be reduced to nothing. Because if you don't know you are the salt of the earth, start living for God. Stop living for the devil and stop living for yourself. You are the salt of the earth. Oh, shout it again. I am the salt. I am the salt. Have you seen a black salt before? No. It's always white. That's purity. Yeah. Purity. Now, again, don't say I am the only Christian in my office. Salt cannot be more than the food. Yeah. It's always small. <laughs> but it will determine the whole thing. Oh, amen. amen. So you don't need to be many. Because salt. God, Jesus said you are the salt of the earth because he knows the quantity. The wide is the way that leads to destruction. Narrow is the way. So we are small. But as small as we are, he said we will be effective. Oh, amen. amen. Is there a way the light the light, the, the bulb, will be bigger than the living room. It's always small. Oh, are we here? Oh, it's always small. True? As big and as massive, it can be two, light, two bulbs. But it will illuminate everywhere and affect everywhere so that you can see. So don't say, oh, we are just two bulbs. Switch on your light and you will see how powerful you are. You see, you just see how powerful you are. You just see what you can do. Oh, are we here? I am. I am. The salt of the earth. The salt of the earth. I am. I am. The light of the world. The light of the world. Shout amen. amen. Let's read verse 14. And ye are the light of the world. A city that is set upon the hill that cannot be. That cannot be hidden. And let me tell you, you are a city set upon the hill. So that means God has made us prominent people. He said, You a city. You are a city on your own. Set upon the hill. You are meant for the top. Amen. Oh God, you are meant for divine projection. Amen. Oh, are we here? A city set upon the hill. The, this country has not told us the whole story. Go to the museum and go to the British Library. You'll find that. BBC was dedicated to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Go there if they have not removed it. That this day we, we dedicate the 
British Broadcasting Corporation to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But the Christian went to sleep. And now you can't mention Jesus on BBC. It's not politically correct. It was dedicated. Go and find out. Yeah. Ah, go and find out. Major scientists were Christians, yeah. but they will not tell you. Michael Faraday, we don't know that he was a man of the Bible and whatever. That he was, that he was a Christian, a man of the Bible. Those that God used are we here yes. for all the scientific discovery? They will, little will be mentioned. Go, go to their Wikipedia. They will just stand and just read about them. Type Michael Faraday. That you find out that they were Christians. That if we don't tell your story, nobody will tell it for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You have to tell your own story. Yeah. If we don't tell your own story, somebody else will tell it and twist it. Because yes, who will project you above himself? No, tell me who we project to. Tell your own story. From now, begin to write your story. Not that you are dying. Just begin to write, I am I was born so 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 I mean begin to compile it little by little. So by the time you are getting to eighty something, uh, to ninety something, you have something to drop down so that nobody else will write your story for you. Amen. Amen. Are we are, are you happy about that? Amen. Now the role of the spirit, uh, the Holy Spirit and the believer. John 16. John chapter 16. You are going to enjoy. You see, I don't know, I don't know about you, but nothing gives me joy like the message of the Holy Spirit. I'm always very, very happy. Either to study the Holy Spirit or to teach the Holy Spirit. I'm always very, very happy because at the end of the day, every time I read about the Holy Spirit and I teach about the Holy Spirit, you know, I just know that I'm not alone. I am not hopeless. They handed me over to someone. Brother JT, come. So that you understand what and Brother Bayo come. Let me tell you what Jesus Christ did. So you will act like Jesus. Is that okay? Hmm? Privilege. Yeah, because of your hair too. <laughs> Amen. So you act like Jesus. You look more like Jesus than him. Oh, are we here? Amen. Amen. So come. Now, uh, who else will join us? Brother we come. You know, uh, I always like to act. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Is it Kevin or Nelson? Either one of you or both of you should come. Just come. Come. Because there's something, there's something I want you people to know. Brother Victor, please, could you come, please? There's something I want you to know. Victor, please could you just come? So, this is the Holy Spirit in him. All right? But he had always been with them in him. All right? But because he says spirit, nobody says spirit. Holy Spirit says spirit. Oh God, are we, are we here? Praise God Almighty. Hallelujah. If you are not very, very spiritual, hmm? even though you are a spirit, you won't see spirit. But you are actually a spirit. Every born again Christian is a spirit. Amen and amen. amen. Which is when they pick witchcraft, they see in the other world. When they put the other eye on, then they see clearly. They can be here, you stand, and go to Puerto Rico while you are here. Do you understand? Praise God. Now, just hold on there. This is Jesus and his disciples. So, go follow your master. So, <laughs> they, do, they do get that. This is, okay, just walk around. 
These are his disciples following him. You can go around. These are the, they are more than uh, four. They are 12, but you understand, if I bring everybody, I won't have somebody to preach to. <laughs> you don't see that? Now, you ask him, you know, you are his disciples. Oh, I'm hungry. You just provide bread. Hungry. Just give it. So, just give it. They will eat. They don't get that. Don't pretend as if you are not feeling well. Just touch him. Straight away. You will hear immediately. So you have to, don't react gradually. <laughs> because <laughs> everything Jesus did was like magic. Are we here? And immediately, the fever left. Are we here? Just ask him whatever you ask. You know, just begin to ask him, and you will be just meeting it. Because he met, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall know more. He is the Lord. He was their shepherd. They didn't want for anything. Oh, are we here? Yes, they didn't want for anything. All of a sudden, listen, he now told them that I will soon be dying. I will soon be going. Can you just imagine? Somebody, he, he, he left the wife to follow him. Because he assured them that all the children's school fees shall be paid. Oh. Yes, sir. You didn't get that. You had no clue about. Do you know that there was a time they couldn't pay their tax? They came to embarrass him. That you are a man, no? You are a citizen of Israel. You must pay tax. And he just sent, uh, who looks like Peter? Oh, come. <laughs> <laughs> Do we understand? Go to the sea, catch fish, the first fish that you pick. Just open the mouth, pay, and let's live on the rest. So all this were met. You see, you can't be embarrassed in the camp of Jesus. Oh, shout a big amen. You, you can't be bound. They, no one was bound. It was never recorded. Any of them couldn't walk or what. No, 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 no. They, every time they needed food in the wilderness. It's just for him to check, check somebody with a little child's food. Jesus will multiply it, the whole city will eat, and they will have leftover. So you are now telling them, listen, that you will soon be going. Ha! Ah! He now remembered that he's the one giving my children, paying for the school fees. Who will pay for the school fees? I left, you know, four children and wife to follow you. And uh, they have never complained because. You always gave me money to settle them down so that I won't be disturbed following you. Now you are going, who pays for the school fees? Oh, are we here? Then him used to be fearful until he came to the camp of Jesus. Now he talks so boldly. So if we go, all those people that said they will give me, who will protect me? You don't get that? They all had their individual your start concerns is does not because they love him too well. <laughs> because sometimes people who love you don't actually love you. They love what you give. Yes. When you see that someone dies and you see somebody crying and weeping and rolling, some are weeping that my school fees. It's not because of you. You can die. If you have settled the school fees issue, your son, the tears will be minimal. Oh. I've also seen some people, yes, you know, when people die and you see someone weeping, no, it's not everybody that is weeping on the, some are weeping because the man is owing them. And he was owing them, he was owing him before he died. You just, you know, you just see someone who just say, John, we didn't say it this way. <laughs> oh, I, John, come, can we still have the last talk? And we think it's born out of love. It's not love. Your stand. The 55,000 pounds. Who pays? John. Can you come? John, can we have the last word before? Ah! John! They will hold it. John, we didn't say it this way. We, 
John, this was not how we said it. You know, and you will be thinking that they will, oh, Austin, Austin, it's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. It's not okay. John and I, John and I, what is between us? You do not understand. Friends do that. It's not friends. It's the money. Oh, are we, are we here? Oh, yeah, there are so many reasons why people weep when people die. It's not all the time because they are missing him. Now, because they showed concern that they didn't want Jesus to go. And Jesus Christ was embarrassed. But being the master, he knew why they didn't want him to go. Ah, okay. Daily bread. Healing. School fees. Your stand. Or oh, everything I promised you, the houses and everything, because he told them whoever has left father and mother to follow me, I'll give you a hundred food. Oh, he told them that you are going to have houses, you will have plenty of houses. Is there in Mark, Mark chapter 10 and uh, Mark chapter 10 and Matthew 10? Is there? He said, You have plenty. Hundred. If you left one house, I'll give you hundred. Yeah. No, the guy has not even. We have not even given you one house. He said he wants to go. And <laughs> oh, are we here? Amen. Amen. You can read Mark's gospel, I think chapter 10 from verse 29 to 31. Do you understand? We've not, we've, we've, we, uh, you told us that you are going to give us 100 houses. Nobody has received any house. Oh, are we here? Nobody has a, you want to go. So there were a lot of things that were on their mind. Oh, amen. amen. You see? He said, but he shall receive. Verse 29. He said, but he shall. Verse 29. Start from verse 29. Because he told them that whoever, and Jesus answered them and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that has left house, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mothers, or wife, or children, or land for my sake and the gospel, but shall receive. They took this promise literally. Oh God, amen. amen. But he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time. It's, it's called, Jesus told them that God, you will receive it now. I, I've not received. You want to die? Oh, you didn't get. Oh my God, please help me. He said now, and they knew he didn't know how to lie. They knew he was the way, the truth, and the lie because he told them I'm the way, the truth, so the truth shouldn't lie. I'm going to give you a hundred, now in this time, houses, brethren, sisters, mothers, children, and lands. They will persecute you. Don't worry. They'll call you names. Jesus freak. They'll call you a man of names. The magician. The magic houses. Because for you to lose one house and get hundred, that must be magic. Amen. And in the world to come, eternal life. So he was not talking about heaven. Because he said, now in this, oh, shall we shout it now? Now. Did you see the now? Yes. Oh, can you see it? Yes. Don't say yes. If you are not looking at it because you'll be lying inside church. You first check, yeah, yeah, because some will just answer yes, because that's what the pastor wants to, and they didn't see, you are lying. Angels are there, I don't want anybody to be knocked. Okay, can we see, well, let's read verse 30. For you shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Wait, houses. Now, Sister Lola and the rest, They've not given you your house. So if I promised you that, you know, you just need to stay in this church for two years, you stand, and I will give you a house at Bishop's Gate, uh, a Bentley. And you now hear that my wife and I are relocating to San Jose. Who said you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Did you hear you know what? You, you heard you know what? You know that was, I didn't hear you. Because the first concern, when you hear that pastor and the wife are moving to San Jose in California, is that come? 
I think I have to make a, bo a, 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 a booking. I, I would like to see him. Yeah. True. Yes, After saying, wow, we thank God for your life and your teachings, you know. <laughs> She won't, your son, she, we thank God, God has been using you, and I know you will not move to San Jose if you didn't hear God. Oh, we, think we give God the glory, we give God the glory. And I know you will soon be coming here, is it permanent? After saying, oh, yeah. we'll come back. That the man that will take over, uh, is there a, a program? That all the promises will be fulfilled, or was it you? Yeah. If I should tell her that come, it's my, it was my, what well, it was my, it's not a church for a policy. It just, I just said that to motivate you. <laughs> so the, this, this, this this money is so, is, everybody is laughing. I like that, that cameraman. God bless you all. And that I just said it to motivate you. And then how long have we been here now? Pastor is, <laughs> Pastor is six, when are you actually going to San Jose? I'm going next month. Ah, and it will be in December. You see? The face will drop. Yeah. Because she has you know that she has made plans around. Maybe he has even told, he has used maybe the integrity of the pastor yeah. to tell them, hey, hey, there is a miracle waiting for me. And a miracle waiting to happen. <laughs> and people will not know <laughs> that it was based on a secret plan. You don't get that? Some people make boasts like that. Can you just imagine now? This man now coming to announce to them that the houses he promised, which no one has received, the lands, that I'm going back to heaven. And what he said we shall have now in this time has not manifested. So where will you send the house? Will the houses drop from heaven? Oh, please. Because they didn't need the explanation. Now, as soon as he tells you, of course you can't smile. I want your faces to drop. Now announce to them. Your departure. <laughs> yeah, he's acting like Jesus. Let's clap for him. <laughs> I like that. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you, you jumped the gun. You first look at their faces. <laughs> you are a good actor. I like that. Bless you. He acted it very well. That means you read your Bible. Yeah. Not that I will send fire and it will consume you. <laughs> because for you to act the script without reading, it shows you read your Bible yeah. very well. Yeah. So they were sad. And he said, This is expedient that I go. If I don't go, in fact, let me tell you, the other time Lazarus died, he took me four days to be there. They buried him. But the person oh, yeah. that I'm sending will not be limited by time and space. Yeah. Oh. Now, if you are flying and there is turbulence, you can say, Holy Spirit, yeah. we are here together. Oh, yeah. But in those days, when Jesus was physically around, he, there was no phone. There was no GSM. There was no Facebook. You can't, your son. Are we here? Yes. Amen. Amen. How will you call Jesus? He had to be there physically. Yeah, yeah because he, he, he was God's incarnate. And it had to be so. He was 100% man, 100% God. 
But it was the man Jesus that acted here. Because if he was not a man, he wouldn't need the anointing. You can't anoint God. Who will anoint God? Oh, are we here? How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. So he was man. How we go fast? Fast unto who? But Jesus fasted. Why we God weep? At the tomb of Lazarus. Jesus was a man. And the Bible says with with any spirit that tells you Jesus wasn't didn't come in the flesh is Antichrist. So now they were sad, and this guy kept telling them that hey, if you know, if you know who I'm sending to you, it's exactly like me. If I paid your debts, you will pay much more. Are we here? If I heal the sick, he will heal it faster. He is not limited by time. He's not limited by space. In fact, he will be in you. And he now asks them, am I in you now? And they say, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm just with you. I'm not in you. Now, this person will come and tabernacle Amen. and dwell inside of you. Amen. Oh, God. Are we here? Yes, sir. Said, so, let me just go away. Then he died, was buried, resurrected, came your stand to heaven. And it, this is the Trinity. God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, God the Son. And he now says, Come, I cannot afford to leave them. They are infants. You have to go there and quickly nurture them. You will live inside them. I've promised. Yes. I have promised that I'm going to send somebody exactly like me that will meet all their needs. In fact, some of the things that I couldn't teach them because they couldn't house yeah. me, you will teach them. You will empower them. They depend there so much on me, but because... Now, let me tell you, was any disciple able to, were they able to do miracles? No. Were they able to do miracles? We could not. But he said, greater works you shall do. Yes. That the person I'm coming now, it is not that any time they will start crying, they will try with it. Jesus never sleeps. Jesus they sleep. Let's wait for him. Jesus is still sleeping. No, you will wake up because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Greater works you shall do. Do we understand? He now got to heaven and sent the Holy Spirit. But because it's a spirit, because it's a spirit, it's only those who believe his word and who are in the spirit and who take the word of Jesus by faith that Jesus would not lie. Oh, hallelujah. That, because it's a spirit. They were able to see Jesus with their optical eyes. Now you can't see spirit, but he's there. Mightily there. And if you want to know he's there, communicate. Now, this, uh, we are going to still act. Are you still watching? Now, he, all right, we now begin to ask the Holy Spirit. This ones will not do anything. They will just find out that things are working for this. So, now, why you are still crying, Jesus, where are you? Where are you? Help me. You just say, sweet Holy Spirit, come into me. Go with me. So, whatever he, whatever he says is what you will. Is that also? So, just say something. Can you see? Not because he's selective. But because they can't understand they don't even know him. They don't even value Jesus. Now he wants to do business. You understand? He wants to do business. You will whisper what to do to him. You will whisper what to do. But why this ones, God forbid, it will never, we are just acting. Amen. Don't even know what to do. Yes, sir. He is, he is going into real estate. Amen. Do we understand? He just knows that he should not stay. He has to relocate from Dolish. Oh, are we here? Yes, sir. Oh, God. 
Because his destiny is in right now. Oh, are we here? Yes, sir. Why these ones are just guessing? Today, I, I feel like. It's not feel like. You should be led like. Amen. Oh, are we here? Yes, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. As many as are led. So much power. So much Jesus. Did you see so much Jesus? So much Jesus, so much comfort, so much grace, so much power, so much everything, but they cannot see. They are afraid of being sacked. They don't know who to marry and who not to marry. Hell challenge. Oppression every night. They can't sleep. And they have the greatest helper. The greatest destiny helper has been sent by God. If you will not be happy with the message of the Holy Spirit, no message will gladden your heart again. Do we understand? This is the state of the church today. Do you understand? And just... Okay, just speak in tongues. They will be laughing. There are denominations that, that will say he's of the devil. Yeah. When God has actually given him a language to beat his enemy. Can you just imagine, listen to me, you fighting someone, you know we fight with words. Yeah. And I using weapons that you have no answer to. That is what happens when you speak in tongues. Because the enemy wants you to speak the language you understand. You are not ready. You are not ready. Oh, are you here? You are not ready. You are not ready. Why must, listen to me. Why must I tell you my plan? My plan is between my God and I. Amen. 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 God just bypasses the devil. The devil stays there. He doesn't know what to hinder. Oh. He doesn't know what to hinder. Oh. He's just looking at you as a miracle to happen. Because he knows. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And he knows that the Holy Spirit cannot influence death. Everything that comes out of your mouth when you pray in the spirit is the release of life. Yeah. Oh, it's only life you release. You don't release death. It's only life. It's only life. So he can't handle it. He's saying, why not speak words of death? Are you are not ready. No, 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 listen to me. He knows. He knows that you are releasing life by the reaction. Oh God, Amen. you are praying in your understanding, he was able to stay there. And as soon as you say, Ramos Kabri he begins to shake. He said, Let me take a break. Your stand. Let me go to McDonald's and spill somebody's uh, coffee before I come back. Awesome. <laughs> You just, oh God Almighty. They will just be serving something, something with your pew and pour. Yeah! <laughs> yes, sir. So when you are battling with that, it goes to another place. Are you here? Let me just cause sorrow. That number 14 is hot. Number 14 is too hot for me. He goes, so let me enter. Boss number 21, I just caused two people to cause argument there. So why are you looking at me like that? Uh-huh. Uh, so why are you looking at me like that too? The devil is there. Slap him. Slap him. That's, that's a racial word. In Africa, you don't talk to people like that. Boom. So what? I know how to. The bus driver packs, locks, and calls the police. Say, so, okay, I've succeeded. Assault on your whatever. Where do I go again? The Bible says it goes to and fro. All around the earth. He can't stay near you because what you carry, he can't stand. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. 
Ya, 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 busca para. Ya, ni as anta la vida busca. Do you see what we do? Are you here? Yes, sir. Do you see how we rob ourselves? Every time before anything, you know, one hour in tongue. Always speaking your language. Is to be limited. Is to be limited. Let me tell you, the strength of any nation is what they know that other nations don't know. Do we understand? The strength, like, you can just imagine, America, Nigeria saying, I want to fight America. When you bust, they are used planes from them. <laughs> you didn't get what I'm trying to say. What they stopped using in 1955 <laughs> is what the planes, the planes they stopped using, 1955. After the Second World War, <laughs> is what your chief of hand staff. You see, <laughs> that is what he's going to launch. Plane of 1955 is what chief of air staff. You had the Marshall song. Yeah. Huh? Today commission our new aircraft new <laughs> now you see I'm going somewhere I'm going somewhere you have to link what I'm saying. Yeah. Used plane. You want to use it to fight superpower. Plane that they rejected. That can no longer carry them. That is who you are as a Christian. Fighting the devil in your own understanding. When God wants you to buy a new plane. Supersonic plane. Things that they cannot handle. You carry prayer book. Thank God I'm an Anglican. Anglican prayer book, 1955. <laughs> okay. Do we understand? Roman Catholic prayer book, 1109. Used airplane. To fight current war. And what they are saying, your strength yeah. has no bearing. Yeah. You can't relate it. It's a new world. As it was at the beginning, so it is now. It's not true. It was not true. In the beginning, your church didn't have car park. Yeah. <laughs> Graveyards and where to tie your horses. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get what I'm trying to say. Yes. But we say things that are not true. Yeah. As it was in the beginning. So shall it be. Now, what we is not true. London is changing. It was not like this. Yeah. Some years ago, about 10, 15 years ago, Elephant and Castle was not like that. Yeah. Those who have gone home, oh, even five years, thank you, five years ago. Those who traveled about eight years ago, when they come, they will not know where they are. If they remove that elephant away. Because what they will ask is that, have they moved elephant and castle to Chelsea? Do we understand? Let's appreciate them. Thank you. Because, you see, what you see, you won't forget. What you see, the Holy Ghost and the believer. Whatever you can see, airplanes of 1955, your air vice marshal, this, your chief of arms, they are dedicating it. Yes, sir, they will decorate it with ribbons. The ribbons may be new. <laughs> and the scissors may be new. Oh, God. 
But the equipment is a dead trap. A calamity waiting to happen. Amen. Amen. What is the range? What is the range it can go? How far will that with, with the jet fighter go? How far can it go? How far can it last? Eh? When we have drones now. Are we, are, are we here? So please, move at the speed of God. Amen. It is this dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So, St. John's Gospel chapter, oh, Father, I just want to thank you, 16. 16. Let the Holy Spirit of the living God Almighty be your best friend. Amen. You and I should not fail in business. You and I should not fail in marriage. Amen. You and I should not fail in our career. Amen. And you and I should not fail in our health. Yeah. I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit can tell you something is wrong with you. Before any doctor diagnosis, yeah. he will tell you, don't eat this thing again. He will tell you in a vision. Don't eat this thing again. Don't take this thing again to heal you. And no doctor told you. Amen. Amen. John 16, verse 6. He said, but because I have told you these things, these things unto you, sorrow had filled your heart. Did you, did you see that? I was not just acting. I'm act, I was acting a script. Because Jesus told them he was going. He said, because I told you these things, sorrow had filled your heart. Because you have read it, you knew what to say. Amen. Do you understand? Sorrow had filled your heart. Because left for some of them, why were they sorrowful? Where is the 100 houses that you promised us? <laughs> Where are the lands? Because he said, now in this time. They took it literally. Oh, are we here? Yes. They took it literally. They took it literally. Where are the houses you promised us? Yeah. Deliver before you die. Oh. <laughs> you, you didn't get what I'm trying to say. They, did, they didn't care. They knew nobody will live forever. They were not saying Jesus should live forever. But deliver on your promise. Yeah. Whoever has left house. Because that kept me, Peter. You know, when he told Peter that, it became a louder voice for Jesus. Yeah. That was why he took that knife that, no. I don't have my house. <laughs> Your son. Did you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, as soon as they came to arrest Jesus, he just took his knife. Scar! What? My landlord extraordinary? <laughs> you joking. He ain't dying. He ain't going nowhere. Huh? Do you know that Peter, you know when he said he was going to die? In Matthew 16? Peter said, no way. You ain't going nowhere. No. Yes, sir. And people didn't know the sign is Satan. No, it's not Satan. The house is too contributed. <laughs> no, listen to me. It was, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. Because I'm not just teaching. When you read Mark chapter 10, Jesus was just talking on his own. Yeah. That it is very difficult for a rich man you start to get to the kingdom of God that, you see, it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of the needle than for a rich man. Peter had it. They were not talking to him. Yeah. But because of what was in his heart. Yeah. Ah! He said, uh, sir, did I just hear you now? You said it will be difficult for a rich man to get into heaven? Ah. I've left all. Yeah. So you mean that my life will be a waste following you? No, read it. Yeah. He said, we left all to follow you. We left all. He said, come. Some of you see, until you are real with God, God will not be real to you. That statement would not have come up. Yeah. That you will reap a hundredfold if Peter did not complain. Yeah. Now, there are some people, pastors, who are serving God. Now, things are not working. <laughs> Every day, my people, they inside church suffering and smiling. No, don't suffer and smile. Tell God how you feel. That God, this was what I was earning. 
when I was on my circular job, you understand? Yes. Tell God, tell him. This was where I was when I was now in you. What is my hope? He won't shoot you because he gave you your stand. He gave you common sense so that you can give him rest. He said, come and prove, argue your case. He said, argue your case before me. Peter was arguing his case. Yeah. Ha, you said, rich man, I thought I was following you. He said, Peter said, come. The day, this was why Peter followed him. I hope you know. It was miracle that attracted him. Yeah. Yes, sir. Jesus entered his ship. All right? His boat or whatever. And he met it empty. He used his boat. Then he did a miracle. And well to a fisherman. A fisherman is plenty of fishes. Oh, are we here? Oh, God. Well to a fisherman. True? Hallelujah. So, what brings you up to Jesus? Whatever Jesus uses to attract you will not leave you. It was wealth that brought him. Ah! He caught fishes that day. Luke chapter 5. <laughs> he told this. And when Jesus wanted to go, he says, come. If I allow this man to go, the day I will have business failure, who will bail me out? Uh, a maker. Easy. Coyote. His boys. Sell the fish. Let me bank the money. Jesus, we are going together. <laughs> the Bible says he abandoned us. Not that he, he didn't abandon us to decay. Like Peter would do that. <laughs> he gave his boys. Ebeka, Okafo, K, or you sell it. You know where to bank the money. Bank it. Anytime you are looking for me, wherever this man is. The Bible says he abandoned all and followed him. Oh, are we here? Yes, so that means he, he was smart. Are you following God today? Do you remember what God has done to you to follow him, to know that he can re re duplicate it in your life? Amen. Oh, think properly. Is it the miracle you are following or the miracle worker? Yes, sir. Peter was smart. He followed the miracle worker. Left the miracle. Oh, are we here? Yes, so that was why he was sure that ah, uh ah, -uh, when they when I do my freedom, because he thought that one day Jesus will free them and settle them. Oh. <laughs> we didn't get what I'm trying to say. You know, he was he wanted to follow that man so that he will receive the power that man had permanently and go back to fish. Oh yes, so he will not toil again. As soon as he enters, they will just come. They will pack them. That was what he was following him. He didn't know the full import of why he was following him. I bet you, until Jesus died and resurrected, a lot of them didn't know why they are his disciples. Are we here? So as soon as he heard that it is difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God, he now said, ah, the power I want to receive is not to be a poor man. By the time I buy 25 ships and I'm filling it every night, and they are shipping some to Nigeria, some to South Africa. Oh, you didn't get what I'm trying to say? I will be very, very rich. I want it is true me that the whole world will eat fish. That was his dream. <laughs> How do you know? In the, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. So as soon as Jesus Christ said it is difficult for a rich man to get into heaven, he asked a question. He says, come. Ah, sir, I left up to follow you, to receive power, <laughs> to return back and be the best. So that means poverty will end my life. Oh, God. Okay, let's read it. Are you ready? And they were astonished at the measure saying, is this Mark? Okay. Among the who, who then can be saved? And Jesus, looking upon them, said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. But with God all things are. Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. 
But before that time, Jesus has, Christ has said that it is difficult for a rich man to get. They, they now say, who then can be saved? Because we are following you to be rich. So if we become rich, how can we be saved? Oh, check it. Who then can be saved? So whoever told you that poverty is a badge of holiness has deceived you. Because if they were poor, they wouldn't have asked that question. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's just like a uh, sister, wave to me, please. Help me, sister. Agnes, yes, thank you. Sister Agnes, it's just like somebody saying, you are following the man, and the man saying, rich men cannot make heaven. And you know you are very poor. What will happen? That's your comfort. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. You'll be happy. Then let them enjoy their wealth. We, heaven is our home. Is, is that not so? But by the time Sister Agnes said, who there can be saved? That means she has some wallace. Oh, oh, you didn't get what I'm trying to say. That means she has some wallace. Yeah, because she's concerned. That means she wants to eat her money and make heaven also. Oh. How do you read your Bible? He said, who then can be saved? Then Peter now said, come, I've not even made enough. Verse 28, Peter now began to say to him that, come, what you people are even calling wealth is not wealth to me. I've not seen anything. That I've left all to follow you. So, <laughs> is that all? I, said, I, think, I, think, I think I should better return. Then, that was what brought about verse 29. Yeah. Verse 29, let's read verse 29. And Jesus now answered and said, No man having left house, you left your fish, you left your house, you left your mother, you left your father, you left. In this world, you will receive a hundredfold. Amen. Oh, you missed a place to shout, Amen. Amen. You don't serve God in vain. Amen. Whoever tells you that you are serving God, you just come here to clap every Sunday, you stand, clap, clap, tie, you tie your head and clap. As if maybe, because somebody erroneously said it, that when you are 40 and you don't know what to do with your life, say join the church. What an insult. You say when you are 40 and you are confused and depressed and you don't know what to do, do say join the church. You see, look at the insult. Yes, because the church has not maximized her potential. The potential of the church is the Holy Spirit. The potential, the unused power of the church is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. It's the Holy Spirit. Because if, now tell me, you are into business and you have someone that will always tell you when market is good and when market is bad, should you lose? No. Somebody that tells you where to buy, somebody that tells you where to sell, you should beat everybody to it, but because you don't care about the Holy Spirit. You don't care about him. You don't even greet him anymore. You don't even recognize him. You can't even feel him. When last has the Holy Spirit talked to you? Does he talk? Listen to yourself. He's inside of you. That time you wanted to fight somebody. He was the one that told you, lower your voice. Okay, that's the, that's the cheapest way to know the voice of the Spirit. The other voice that told you, how, how can they insult your father and you keep quiet? Do you know who your father is? Reply! Is that the Holy Spirit? No. <laughs> That's an evil ghost. Insult, oh God. Do we understand? So now, that voice that tells you that what if you are late and they sack you? Is that the devil? That's the Holy Spirit. Then the devil will tell you that you say God understands. Your manager is your friend. And the, and the worst thing you can do to a person is to take a person for granted. Please, I want to use God to beg you. And especially women. I'm not changing. Still the Holy Spirit. We are, not, we are not teaching. Because it's not women conference now. Because women take people for granted. Amen. Amen. That's why sometimes men are scared. You understand? Because any over affection now makes you a slave. And let me tell you, somebody told the wife how much he loves, he loves the wife, 
you are the sugar in my tea. And he has not done it for a long time. So the wife was surprised. Ha! How come all these encomiums on me? And he began to just tell the wife, you are the best, you are this, you are that. Kiss the wife on the forehead. Says, come, can I make you a cup of coffee? I don't mind. He treated the woman like a queen. Hmm? <laughs> Around 2 a.m., the wife tapped the husband on the bed. Said, I want to eat snail. <laughs> and the husband said, are you pregnant? <laughs> you didn't get the joke. <laughs> because it's pregnant women that ask for weird things. Yes. Did you catch? You didn't get, did you get the joke? Yes, it's a deep joke. Yes. Only is adult joke. Should you wake somebody who treated you in the middle of the night? Somebody that has been quarreling with you for a long time, you just said it. You want him to reboot. <laughs> you didn't get what I'm trying to say? To go back to where he's coming from. Because it's safer for him that way. Because when, you see, when you are quarreling, they can't, they can't call you to say, I want to eat snail. Which snail is that? Snail. What, what snail are you eating? Eh? What snail? You can't even ask for beef. <laughs> I don't think you heard me. I know that no weapon from the against me shall prosper. You see? For somebody who can stand here talking about the Holy Ghost, you know I'm surrounded. Because I'm teaching you on how to take your... You see, let me tell you, you can pocket your husband if you are wise. And the relatives will say, no, you gave our boy something to eat. You gave submission. You gave wisdom. Give submission and wisdom. The man becomes your slave without knowing. <laughs> I'm being honest. Submission and slave. Because... A man will resist you when he can't see his interest. Every time he knows that everything you are doing is for his interest, he follows you, you stand sheepishly like that. Oh, are we here? Yes, sir. You don't know that submission is the highest control. Yes. What? We are in England. Hey, woman right. Woman right. Then I have my right. Look. <laughs> if we are woman... Woman right, we have man right too. So it too, we exercise his own right. Yeah. Well, in Africa, your stand is man right. In the West, woman right. Your son, well, when you meet halfway, man and woman right. Oh, but please pick something from what I'm saying. Pick wisdom. Pick wisdom. You woke up somebody that showered you. Is that not why you should? You two should reciprocate it. He gave you cake. He gave you whatever. Before he wakes up to do his own break in a way that he has not done it before. Then why are you doing it? Because of cake? Yes, one good son is last time. Everybody is happy. So you now carried your, your sacrifice beyond the mosque. If you understand what we are saying. Well, this is this are, this is adult, this is adult, 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 adult. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You now say you want snake or crocodile. Uh, crocodile means at 2 a.m. to carry gun and go and hunt. <laughs> Shout Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. So let's return back to him. But what we are saying now, we save a lot of homes. Don't take people for granted. Don't take, because that's what I'm trying to say. When somebody loves you a lot, then when somebody loves you and cares for you, that is why you should treat those people with care. 
Because those who overlove you or overcare for you, you understand, should be sensitive people. You should be very, very careful so that because at the end of the day, there is something you may do, the man will go and reflect, is it because? Don't let it get to that. Now, is it because I did this, I did this, you are now coming at the time you like? Or is it because, you know, I did this that you are now using your hand to rub my hair? When have we become mate? Some don't know. So, please, do we understand? So that, please, please, that's why I brought it, the issue of marriage. And again, for the man too, the fact that your wife surprised you with a delicious meal does not mean you should start demanding more than the money you put down. <laughs> you understand? We have 50 pounds meal, soup, and there is 1,000 pounds soup. So you don't put 50 pounds per month down and demand a 1,000 pounds soup, uh, uh, dish, a delicacy. No, it won't work. So, it commensurate to how much you drop. <laughs> if you know you didn't drop anything, whatever they serve you. <laughs> Receive it with joy and pretend you didn't see it. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> but when you drop 1,000, you can say, ah, why bones? But if it's 50 pounds, just be, or that's called, darling, I don't know that. They now sell bones like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the, <laughs> they will understand. You talk in sign language. Did you get that? Why Peter was, why Peter was concerned? It drops so much. Now, look at your life. Just look at your life. You too, you have loved. Some of us dropped our careers. You drop your profession, drop your career. You said you want to follow. It's applicable today. Yeah. Are we here? Some of you are coming from night duty. Instead of you rest. And nothing will show for it. Some of you, God has used you to support the church in cash and kind. You sweep the church. You clean everywhere before the kings and princesses and queens come. You say yes. Are they queens? A queen will come and clean. It's a satire. Yeah. Do, do, we, do we understand? Before the owners of the church come. We've cleaned everywhere. And you think God will not reward your labor of love? You've left much. You've left much, oh God. Do you know that some of us have lost friends because we are Christians? You don't need them. No good thing will you withhold. From them that walk uprightly. You don't need them. Friends that will lead you to prison, you don't need them. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. I used to walk with a group of people when I was a sinner. Then I got born again. I had later, they were rounded up. Do you understand what I'm saying? They were rounded up. And I didn't know. So it was the other guy that wrote to him from the U.S. that, you know, we were incarcerated for whatever. After my release, I have to return back to my base. Amen. Amen. So what if I was there? I wish the letter was there. I would have read the letter for you. What they suffered. I was taken away. Amen. God has not told you to serve him in vain. Amen. So the, the teaching of the Holy Spirit should give you the greatest joy Amen. ever. Amen. Now let's go back. Oh, I feel fire. I feel fire. It says, just stretch your hands. 
in the name of Jesus. Whatever you see, yeah, yes, because the fire of God is here. Whatever, listen to me, whatever is in need in your life, ask God right now. Whatever is in need, whatever is in need, kainanana muskebriana seska kuriana masanda hauria kaskalabitaha. Whatever is in need, ask, ask, Father, as I stretch this hand, as I stretch your fire that has descended on my hand, as it moves, O oh God of heaven and the earth, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the fire is intense. The presence of God and the glory of God is heavy here. I demand every blood disease, every blood disease, be healed. Every blood disease, yes, every blood disease. The Lord is healing you now. Every blood disease, every blood disease, every blood disease, every blood disease. Escalabosa, nande escalabina bosa, yes. Every blood disease. Nananambo sabara hasa. Hariana sopra ha shekeria ha. Yes. The fire of God is here. The fire of God. Begin to receive. Yes. Just receive. Receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing. Receive. Receive your healing. 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 Receive. Begin to receive right now. The healing power of God is here. The power of God is here to heal and to deliver. Yes, the power of God is here. Yes. Receive. There is a healing grace. Healing, healing, healing grace. Healing grace. Every pain in the joints. Every arthritis. Pray in the spirit. 
Regebo Sata, Masaka Tayana, who shed the Lebo Sita, Rebaka Satanda Labo Sunde de Bosha, Zebaka, Yemahida Kosuta, Eva, Hela Braha, Masan, Hito Sundo de Bosha, Telebo Soto Lebo Hosa, Telebo Hosa, Danda, Hala Shekelebo Hosa, Masebo Saka, Maka Salia
Jesus. Every man, every woman, under the sound of my voice, that is sick, that is oppressed, today I demand in the name of Jesus, be free! Be delivered! Right now, every tormenting devil, every tormenting devil, wicked spirit in the name that is above all names I take authority over you I bind in the name of Jesus lose your hold 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 go to dry places in the name of Jesus let the healing power of God yes. fall upon everyone. Amen. I command every nightmare to stop. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every nightmare. Amen. Every oppression in the dream. Amen. Today I curse you. Amen. Stop. Amen. Stop. Amen. Stop. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now. If you want God to tamper with your career, come out quickly. Come out quickly. Career. Nana Manas Kobriana send the hasha. Don't worry, play the yoga. It will tamper. Come, 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 come. I'll first touch you. In the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven and the earth answer your prayer. Yes. So to, for, for us to have this shows that. Your time shows that the Holy Spirit, thank God I was not disobedient. I was not disobedient to be too mindful of the time. Raise your hands. Oh, ho, shalaba. Yanana, so kila, ha. Yedemonos kakriyana hash. Ya, Jesus, sufrate. Ranatoto, yesisi. Ye, rahosa. Rananando, yabasaka, yalaboska. Ekere, kaido, kaido. Kaido masi kalabinos kelia yanamaha. Just say a simple prayer, and I will shake you. You will go back. A simple prayer. They do watch the drama. You watch the playlet. Oh, please answer me. Let it be very loud. They do watch it. Do you want the Holy Ghost to help you? Do you want the Holy Ghost? you will his help be significant will people see the power of his help you are going to say after me holy ghost holy ghost i'm sorry i'm sorry i have brushed you aside i have brushed you aside for a long time for a long time holy ghost holy ghost i embrace you i embrace you as the best friend as the best friend the best 
destiny helper. The best destiny helper. I can ever have. I can ever have. I thank you. I thank you. For being my destiny helper. For being my destiny help. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Thank you for the best gift. Thank you for the best gift. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. I love you. I love you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. My hands. My hands. Are raised up. Are raised up. Now I demand. Now I demand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help me. Help me. On my career path. On my career path. I forbid. I forbid. To work as a slave. To work as a slave. I forbid. I forbid. To be out of your purpose. To be out of your purpose. I forbid. I forbid. To be trashed down. To be trashed down. Because of my career. Because of my career. From today. From today. I accept your help. I accept your help. Career wise. Career wise. Let there be a turnaround. Let there be a turnaround. By your power. By your power. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Every demonic force. Every demonic force. Tampering with my career. Tampering with my career. I take authority. I take authority. Over you. Over you. I bind you. I bind you. I curse you. I curse you. I rebook you. I rebook you. Get out. Get out. Get out. Out, 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 out of my life, out of my life, out of my career, out of my career. From today, from today, I demand, I demand a total turnaround, a total turnaround in the fulfillment, in the fulfillment of my work, of my work, in the enjoyment, of in it, the enjoyment, in the promotion of in it, in the promotion of it, in the reward, in the reward, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I shall be lifted, I shall be lifted all around. All right. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you believe that, can we shout it big amen? Let's go. Amen. 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 I will just shake you quickly to save our time. In the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. Your hand is your work. Every time you see a vision, somebody twisting your hand. Pray for concerning your job. Every time somebody hits your leg. Pray concerning direction. Don't ever forget that. This is your hand, your handy work. That's why they, they don't call it leggy work. They say handy work. In the name of Jesus, as I touch you, as a representative of God, I touch you for a turnaround. I touch you for testimonies. I touch you in the name of Jesus. I touch you for testimonies. I touch you for testimonies. In the name of Jesus, God cannot call another call and you don't see the impact. I touch you in the name of Jesus. I touch you. I touch you for miracles and signs. I touch you in the name of Jesus. I touch you in the name of Jesus. I touch you in the name of Jesus. I touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. I touch you in the name of Jesus. I touch you in the name of Jesus. I touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Kayana Mosandaha. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, lastly, before we close the service, St. So John's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 16. Is that scripture? Hallelujah. Father, Lord, I just want to thank you. I just want to worship you. Thank you for visiting us today. Thank you for visiting us today. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Give me the place to shout, amen. amen. So the ministry of the comforter does not end in the church. The Holy Ghost will enter the car with you. Enter your bedroom with you. He's going with you to, the, to your workplace. Oh, please shout, amen. amen. When you are body, you will body with him. Amen. You will land with him. Amen. Shout a big amen. amen. Now verse 17. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. That's where I'm going. Whom the world cannot receive. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes. Until the world receive his son, the world cannot receive his spirit. The help of the Holy Ghost is not for sinners. 
No, the world cannot receive. No, they cannot. They cannot receive. So if you see anybody that is not born again speaking in tongues, it's a demonic tongue. It's not of God. It's a demonic vision. Do we understand? Demonic tongue, because the world cannot receive. You are not a believer in Jesus. How come you are speaking in tongues? This is not of God. Are we here? Because he's hearing him not, neither know it. How can you be speaking in language of someone you don't know? But you know him. Amen. Oh, you mean the place to shout amen. amen. Your case is different. Amen. But you know him. For he dwelleth with you. And shall be is already in you. Amen. When Jesus Christ said that, he was saying that, that he was going to send, but he's with us and already in us. Amen. All eyes closed. If you are not born again here, you know, you can't be a beneficiary of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. If you want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life, please just raise your hand and I'll pray with you. Oh, thank you. Please, would you kindly stand up? Yes. Yes, please stand up. Oh, God bless you. Wow, let's give Jesus a big hand. Please help, help them. Help them. Appreciate Jesus. Appreciate. Woo, glory. Please, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. Come stand it. Please help him. Please help him. You can do better than that. You can do better. Come on, come on, come on. says. Hallelujah. It said, when the Holy Ghost come, your wilderness shall be turned into a fruitful vine. Yeah. A, new a church can be a wilderness. Time. Nothing is producing. Not when the Holy Spirit. Say, so your wilderness shall be turned to a fruitful land. When the Holy Spirit. These are the fruits yeah. of the Spirit. You can do better. Your wilderness shall be torn. So it's so simple to receive Jesus. And when you receive Jesus, there is no fear of hell anymore. It's over. Because he came to end. When you receive him, all the punishment meant for him. He has taken it away. Hallelujah. It will no longer be your portion. You become a son and a daughter of the Most High God. Anywhere you go, and they ask you, are you a child of God? Yes, I am. How do you know? On the, what's today's date? On the 17th of March. One black pastor. <laughs> Led me to Jesus. Amen. Amen. And from that day I became born again. Amen. And I received a witness in my spirit. Amen. So simple. Can we say it together? Just raise your right hand. Because raise your right hand. Just because I don't want you to stay at the life, left hand of God. Just a joke. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus I, receive I receive you into my heart. Into my heart. As God's sacrifice for man's redemption today I receive you as my Lord and Savior come into my heart come and be my Lord come and be my Savior write my name in heaven's book of life when I die hell can never be my portion thank you Lord for saving me I'm a child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. From today, you are born again. So what do you do? Make sure that you come to church to be taught the way of God. 
will start teaching you about the heaven you are going to. Amen, amen and amen. amen. And so, as our culture, please wait for them here. Hug them. Appreciate them. Hallelujah. God bless you. Yes, welcome. Please, you can do better. Go and welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. Appreciate them. Welcome, welcome them. Yes, welcome them. Hug them. Appreciate them. Welcome, you can do better. Lord and Savior. We thank you. We worship you. Thank you for what you have done in the life of each and every one of us. And thank you for what you have done in the life of all those watching from across the nations of the world. We thank you because that which you have done shall be made manifest and it shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you. Can really have your seat, man. God, thank you for the.